New York has several bee biologists uh, and mathematicians that are interested in learning about bees, their biology, and their health. Although we do do different research, we also collaborate with each other. So it allows for a lot of interdisciplinary opportunities and for our students to work with people who are working on different topics and have different types of training. We have world expertise in bee taxonomy, bee systematics, uh, bumblebee biology and conservation, and bee genomics. Uh, you don't usually find this combination of uh, skills and expertise in one place. My research is on the evolutionary history and classification of the world's 20,300 plus species of bees that are known. I do new species descriptions, evolutionary trees, and I study the biogeography of bees, in other words, how they got to where they are. Bees generate $5.5 billion to Canada's economy every year. Uh, and their health is declining. Canadian beekeepers lose up to 27% of the colonies each year. We don't know why they're declining and, and beekeepers don't have the tools to improve bee health. In our lab, we're essentially trying to develop genetic tools to be able to breed healthier, disease resistant and winter hardy bees and that will help overall bee health, not just in Canada, but across the globe. We work on the conservation of at-risk pollinators, mostly bumblebees, and we consider the ecology um, to figure out how we can and conserve them, but also the human dimension. So thinking about policy, citizen science, and ways that uh, we need to manage the people in order to protect the pollinators. In this room, we've got the largest collection of bees in the country. We've got maybe 300,000 specimens. We've got bees from well over 100 countries. We've got 90% of the world's bee genera. Uh, and on the image bank uh, that we've got, you'll see images of nearly all the world's bee genera. So it's something to be really proud of. Although bee conservation and pollinator conservation is a really hot topic, there aren't a lot of research groups in Canada that are specifically focused on trying to figure out why some native species are in decline and how we can conserve them. We all have different expertise and we're able to bring this diverse set of expertise to uh, improve bee health and understand why bees are declining.